so now let's play the next mission. My, I get it. You can totally feel that this is recreating Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece of uh, cinema, right? Mystery at Jewel. I'm going to reset this one. It says extreme difficulty. The score is 2001. The Discovery One has arrived safely at Jewel to continue her mission. Frank Kerman has taken an EVA pod into space to perform some tests. He now needs to get back and dock with the Discovery. Careful, the pod has only a very limited amount of monitor propellant. Do not waste it. Okay. So first of all, I need to get close. How close? Real close. The Discovery One has arrived safely at Jewel to continue her mission. Frank Kerman has taken the EVA pod into space from some tests. Okay, so I'm guessing that's us. Yeah, there's our target there. Okay, so now SAS, I'm going to aim at the target. Good. Now I'm going to actually bring this up here because I want to see what my performance is. There, four meters per second. That's about fine, right? I do like the pod design, though. It is it is rather magnificent. I mean, the nice fact is that it has the clamp, right? Nice frontier shirt. Yes, that is... I did... Uh, I do need to be playing more Elite Dangerous. Oh my god, I've lost all control functionality. Get out of the pod and wait for Dave to pick you up. Okay, I will get out of the pod. There we go. I'll just fly over here. Whoa! Okay, Dave, get out of there and grab Frank. Um. Oh, I've got no RCS propellant now. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens here. I'm really curious to see what happens. The missions are ones which we created. You have to have the DLC. Look, he's going to hit the ship. Hopefully he doesn't explode or crack an eyes. Hopefully he doesn't destroy it. There, Frank! Frank! What happened? What, what key was it? Five? Five to open the pod bay door? Uh, I think I may have pushed the wrong button to open cargo doors. Well, one of these will be open. Let's, uh... Where is Dave? Oh, that's him there. Apparently, um, we have an issue. Okay, it's ability control. Pardon me, I would love to save you, but uh, we need to open the doors first. Which button open? Ah, oh, there we go, open the pod bay doors. Whoa! <laughs> I think that's him. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe not. Where is he? No, oh, that's me there, right? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Um, for now, let's just... <laughs> As I said, a perfect cinematic recreation of Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're getting there. Excellent. Okay. Whew. That was totally totally accurate to the movie okay so there we got frank kerman we're gonna target him <sighs> frank's probably dead by this point this is a delicate maneuver make sure you make contact with frank as flat as possible also don't ram into him make sure your velocity is real low i'm just gonna point out that Werner wouldn't say real low i love the way that we've got him tumbling Totally like the movie. We got him! Now get him back to the Discovery quickly. Okay, so... Discovery 1 ship. Okay, there we go there. Whoa! <laughs> I I think that something broke. Um, 
I, we might have to restart this thing. So I, I think that that explosion was not supposed to happen. Oh man, the thing is rotating. Now I could cheat and just like stop this, but that would be cheating, right? Let's see how I can do here. You know what? Never mind. Let's do that. Oh, more stuff exploding. <laughs> okay, now... No, more stuff exploding. <laughs> Get into the emergency airlock. <laughs> Which emergency airlock? Oh, yes. I kind of, uh, I'm quite enjoying these glitches. <laughs> Hal's like totally blowing himself up to preserve himself. I'm sure that's exactly what he's doing. Here we go. Floating through the space. Okay, so time to kill my velocity. I hate my velocity. Kill that beastie. Okay, are we ready? Let's do this. Yes, I boarded! Woohoo! Quick, go to the computer core on the starboard side of the ship and deactivate VAL 9000. I will need to use the temperature, pressure and gravity subsystems in order to do so. I know you've made some very poor decisions recently, but I can't give you my complete assistance. What? Okay. Maybe that's what I gotta do. So I'm in the airlock, right? So now I gotta go transfer, and then I gotta find there, right? Now I can EVA. Let's try that. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. I want to help you. Ah, oh, there we go! Yes! Excellent! Woohoo! That would have totally not been obvious, but there's Val there. <laughs> Let's see if I can get in close. Ah, oh, there we go. Log temperature. Dave, stop. Will you? Stop, Dave. Uh, log pressure data? I'm afraid, Dave. I'm afraid. Uh, it's gravioli, yes. Log pressure data. Oh, that's cool, Dave. My mind is going. Oh my god! We have found another mysterious monolith. It is in a peculiar orbit of Jewel. Rendezvous with it and investigate. Check your navigation map to find it. Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> I mean, should I just anchor onto the ship? I'm just wondering, can I cheat this? No, apparently not. Oh, there, I've anchored onto the ship, right? So, can I just... Can I cheat to avoid the EVA thing? What I do is I go, click, transfer, to the lock. I move to the inflatable airlock, but it hasn't triggered the next part of the mission, right? Um. So now, he needs to EVA, and then he needs to board. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I've totally skipped through large parts of the mission now. <laughs> Quick, go to the computer co oh, no, just, and, and deactivate VAL 9000. You will need to use the temperature, pressure, and gravity subsystems in order to do so. I know we've made some very poor decisions, but I can't give you my complete assurance my work will be back to normal. Okay, yes you can. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission, and I want to help you. There we go. He's still got his parachute on because he's a proper badass Kerbal.
Okay, let's try and do this a little more gently this time. I think it's better if I leave the lights off. Okay, temperature subsystem. Um, okay, oh, Dave, stop, Dave. What are you doing, Dave? I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Dave. Gravity scan. Dave, my mind is going. I can feel it, and I we've put the... Somebody needs to fix the mission design a little. I guess that's me. And we'll just keep that pod hanging off the side, right? Seems like a good idea. Okay, and when what we'll do is we'll do a phasing orbit once we get down there. But I mostly just want to make sure that I get as close to the correct orbit as possible. Look at us orbiting around Jewel. There's something down there. Something special and full of stars. Hopefully chocolate stars so I can eat them. Okay. There we go. I mean, part of the requirement was that we had to make these so that they were made of entirely stock parts. And that we also didn't want to have, like, more than 400 parts. Like, I think the biggest thing we have is 400 parts. Okay, a close approach is actually 29 kilometers because I've messed things up, but... Oh, excellent! We've got sunrise! Good news is that we will be doing this encounter when the sun is here. I guess what I could do is go out there with a the pod, but, you know, I might as well take the discovery out there. Okay, there, there's something out there. You have arrived at the monolith. It is quite yard. large. Take the only working EVA pod, the one on the starboard side, and investigate. Using action group 6 to disengage the docking ports. You will need to be physically connected to the dock. Oh, so basically we have to dock with the monolith. First of all, I'm going to you know, cut my velocity down relative to it. I feel that we have arrived in the realm of low frame rates, just so you know. Definitely feels to be kind of slow here. This is going to be kind of cool because it's going to come over. It's just black, right? You can see it's there, but it's black. But you know what? It's going to come in front of Jewel any minute now, and I'm going to be like, Oh my god! How much more black could it be? Ooh, Yes! We have an actual black monolith looking thing. There, it looks so much better like that, right? Okay, I'm just going to slow myself down to zero relative velocity. Okay, well, not quite. Oh, not quite what I wanted to do. Okay, let's fly this out there. Someone lost their knife sharpener. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It does seem like it's actually full of stars, if stars are graphical glitches. My god, it's full of Z fighting. Ooh. Whatever, what's the sound? My god, it's full of panels. <laughs> here we go. It looks like it's growing, glowing blue here. What's up with that? That'll be some of those stars, right?
Wow, okay. Now what? Now what am I supposed to do? Oh, success! Woo! Success! Wait a second, you know what? Um, We got gold, silver, blonde, bronze, and all that. But look, here, here, trippy visuals, let me guess. Yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa! They're trippy visuals. There, look! Whoa! Did you know that when 2001 was released, it was actually doing pretty lousy in the cinema? And it wasn't until later that they, you know, about three or four weeks in, that the cinema started to note that people were coming multiple times. Like, uh, they kept on coming to watch the same, like, trips, you know, space trip at the end. And, <laughs> yeah, that was a, it was a movie that was commercially successful because of people that were perhaps not necessarily entirely sober.